pick one. Stuck, mm-hmm. scary, or skill among these three teams. John, Jonathan, you guys ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Between the Cowboys, the Bears, and the Texans. They all won their games. Between these three, which one is stuck, who is scary, and who is skilled? So how, how do you want to do this? Because this is easy for me. I already know mm-hmm. what the three are. But are, do we want to say it individually and then yeah, debate let's go it? With the, yeah, let's go, with our, let's go stuck. And okay. then we'll, I'll start with me. I think the Cowboys are stuck. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay. So you want me to give mine? Yeah. Give your stuff. Okay. I think the bears are stuck. Really? Yeah. And then, and I also think the bears are stuck. What? Actually? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I tried to pick these for debate, but I didn't think you guys would pick that. Why? Why Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I I think Jonathan and I agree for once on this, but yeah, their defense (laughs) bailed them out of the game. Caleb Williams didn't look that good. Roma Dunze just is having an MRI. He's going to be out for a couple weeks with a knee injury. Not that he was much involved anyway, but against the Titans team, I was expecting them to play a little bit better offensively. Keenan Allen dropped a touchdown. Um, Caleb Williams missed Keenan Allen again on a touchdown. The run game wasn't very good. So, I out of these three teams that won this past week, I would say that the Bears are are stuck. I was originally thinking they could make the playoffs. I think it's possible, but they're not going to go on a deep run. Yeah, I agree. Um, for a guy that wanted an equity stake in a team, the first in NFL history, and to come out and play like that, just ninety three yards of offense, uh, <laughs> that is sad. That's really sad. His defense bailed him out. He got lucky, and he ended up winning the game being the first rookie since like 2002 or something, or since Derek or David Carr or something since David Carr. I don't know if I got what year that was, but oh, he, wow. he got lucky. Yeah. He got, yeah. he got lucky. And if you look at his schedule over his next several weeks, he, next week they're playing the Texans. Oh, oh boy. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, so he's, he, he, <laughs> he better bring it. You can't <laughs> oh, yeah. doing that or else you're going to get embarrassed because the Texans have a good squad. We all know that. So yeah, I mean, to me, the, the bears are stuck. Um, and it was, it was a bit of disappointment because I picked him to actually win the division and they didn't look like division winners. Maybe they'll pick things around towards, um, you know, towards the, the, you know the middle of the season or so. But right now, their offense looked terrible, like they have happened the past couple of years with Justin Fields. Now, do you think it's do you think it's Caleb Williams' fault? Because you're, I, I feel like you both know more of him than I do. Like I just, I've just seen about him. What I saw on that game and why I'm not picking that team to be stuck is like po- poise, uh, confidence, like. Some elements, like he protected himself on a little bit, just some flashes of long-term behavior that I think is good. But like you said, I think it's the fourth time ever that the first overall pick has won their debut game, so it's very rare. You know, there's a lot of greater names that have, you know, gone on to higher quarterbacking echelons and didn't win their opening end. But like, you guys didn't see anything for the Bears that would make them a playoff contender this year from that first game? I know it's early, but... I mean, like I said, it's possible. Okay. Um, I wouldn't rule him out of playoff contention, but from what I saw, it wasn't all on Williams because the run game didn't help him out at all. Uh, yeah. Reece, Keenan Allen dropped a pass, but Caleb Williams, What I, th- I think what Jonathan and I are saying is just for what he was hyped up to be, it wasn't a great first game. Not okay. to say he can't turn it around, but like Jonathan said, they play the Texans next week. So if he carries that over even a little bit, they're going to get blown out and, and embarrassed. If if they beat the Texans, you guys think it's what would what, what that what could that mean? There's no. There's I mean, no if they way. beat the Texans, <laughs> really? No. Yeah, if they beat the Texans, then okay, then this team can they have yeah. the potential to be great for this uh, season at least. For yeah. the season, yeah. Okay, okay. I I picked the Cowboys, namely because they tied themselves to Dak. I, Dak is good enough. <laughs> you don't like yeah. the deal that he got, like uh, he, ten I'm minutes happy. before the game started. I've said this for years. I I he is. I like him as a person. You know, and he is just good enough as a quarterback to like keep them getting 30 points over weaker opponents. But fundamentally, I think they're stuck, not even because of Dak, but I said what I said all the time it's Jerry Jones. You know, as long as he's the GM and owner and everything in between, then it's going to, it's going to be weed and boys. They're going to go up by 30 points against <laughs> their opponents. And then that's why Dak gets paid a lot of money. See, he gets paid a lot of money because you feel good in the moment, but long term, I just don't think they got it. So that's why I think they're stuck. I saw more hopeful things out of the bears than, you know, 
like in, in most games you want you'd want there's a lot of expectations with Caleb Williams, but you want your defense to win your game sometimes. Now obviously 93 yards is, is not great, but like almost like it's like with Justin Herbert, that offense was a lot better than the defense was. Like it's almost a better problem to have when it's the offense not as well than the defense. Like same with the Jets right. this year. Like they just needed a quarterback versus to build a whole defensive Team. But the the yeah. Bears typically don't have a good defense, which is why I'm like, yeah, we they that's why we're saying he got lucky because the Bears are known for having a bad defense in the last like yeah. five years. So it's like, yeah, can, are I'll they see. really going to get a pick six every week? Like, I have no confidence in that. That's why I'm curious with the with the comments because my biggest thing with the Bears is the win was more a psychological win. <laughs> like, remember the Lions for so many years just were terrible, and there was a while like now people look at them and like, oh, they're good. Like Dan Campbell and, and company's really done enough. Like it's good, I and mean, I'm happy for them. But there was a few games where it's like they don't they don't ever win these close ones. They don't ever do it. Right. And I think the Bears have to get out of that psychological effect of hey, the Bears are going to be the Bears. You know? Yeah. Um, so I but I didn't feel like they were okay. Okay, interesting. I didn't expect well, didn't expect that. I think I could predict what we we're all going to say for the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the scary, yeah. Who, who's your scary team? You want to say it on on th- on a count of three? Yeah, <laughs> one, two, two, three. three. Tex- Texans. <laughs> John, Are you guys come serious? On. You uh, gotta, no, guys, guys, come on. guys, you know stop I'm being lying. Honest. Stop I'm not lying. being biased at all. I'm being honest. Okay? No, you're not. <laughs> look at the Cowboys. All right, let's look at the Cowboys. And the Texans. Okay, let's look. The, the Texans. Mm-hmm. They barely got out of a dog fight with the Colts. Barely. The Colts Barely. with they the were, second year quarterback were, that's still trying to learn the game, developing. Um, they had a struggle within that game. So um that's tough. Cowboys, they played a dominant defense in the Cleveland Browns. Okay. And it was a dominant uh, performance. And don't Sean get the, Watson it, was not dominant. And don't forget yeah, this. Deshaun don't, Watson's not that good. No, 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 he didn't. He basically didn't participate in training camp. So him and Dak are still trying to get in football shape together and get that chemistry going. <laughs> he, he he had a great, pretty decent game for somebody that was still getting getting that chemistry going since last season. And so, can you imagine what he's like when he's fully he's fully okay. in football you shape? Know what? I have some. I have something perfect to to counteract that. Mm-hmm. You, did you see Stefan Diggs? Two touchdowns, and that was that was Stroud and Diggs' first game together. I mean, yeah. what do you think is going to happen bench. later in the season? No, the th- I, That's, the, I mean, there, there's too like many. Diggs. There's too many weapons. Mixon had a hundred and almost 50, 150 there's yards. Too many weapons. That <laughs> that you said it. There it is. Too many that's, weapons. When is that <laughs> an issue? Be the, when is that an issue? <laughs> yeah, for anybody. Be, hey, that's be, you can't be serious, that, dude. Yes, that's going to be the kryptonite of the team. What? Diggs, did y'all see him on the sideline? Look, after the first after the first possession. He was already complaining about not getting the ball. And him, well, you just saw him do all his motions. He's just he kidding. Was, hey, he's telling people, hey, look, if he just do it like this, oh, I would have been gone. If he just, he just like likes this, to talk. You know he just likes to talk, though. No, no, he's complaining. That's going to be the It was just the first game. It was the first drive of the first game. I mean, can you imagine the next few games? There's a reason why the Bills let him go. He was a detriment to the team. He was like a, a cancer to the team. You know why? He wants to be like Wait, that hold on, hold on, hold on. He's going to complain Texans, about not getting the ball. We don't Texans, want that. T.O. had that. The, the Texans Cowboys. already put him mm-hmm. as a captain. Diggs already okay, they as put a him captain. as a captain. They have to. I mean, they have to put him. Why see, do they have to put him as a captain? He's a new guy to the that's, team. That's, he that's, shouldn't that's, be. That's how you. That's how you resolve those issues with players like that. They're prima donnas. He, so give him no. When no, he gets upset, that's when he not gets how upset. you do it. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Him, you don't say, "Oh, you're a prima donna." Now yeah, you're yeah, the no, 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 no. You can <laughs> motivate everybody and do it. No, John, when he gets up, when he gets upset, you're so young and stuff. People are like, "Hey, don't forget, you're a captain. Be a good leader." That's that's a perfect way to calm somebody down. See what I'm saying? So that they purposely did that. <laughs> they're just trying to think ahead because they know he's like that. It's like, oh, this guy's gonna give us trouble. Let's let's call him a captain now. That way, in the middle of the season, when he gives us trouble, we can say, "No, bro, you're captain. Calm us down. You must lead us. Don't get upset." So, so you need a, so to hold to hold a grown man accountable. You need to make him a captain. Some people That's, you have that to do sounds that. like high school football. Yeah, not, hey, say, sometimes, not NFL. Gotta, hey, sometimes you gotta like, do what the hell is going on? People have egos. Why man. is he on the team? People, some <laughs> people have egos. Yeah, that's why he's, some people have egos. You can't why just be like, like, "Oh, you complain a lot." Oh, yeah, you could be the captain. Actually, hey, don't yeah, you? you don't you think? Don't say. Look at the Bills. They could use him. Why did they just let him go? There's a reason. They don't need him. They, they, they need won him. six games oh. last year in a row to make the playoffs, and they didn't use him. They they need him. They need him. And so I'm telling you that they haven't. You said that you said they have too many weapons. Nico Collins, That's not, all these guys. That's wait, bad hold thing. on. Name a team right. in the past history 
that had too many weapons and and failed because of it. Uh, oh, there's several. I can't even. Like, there's so much. I mean, there's just so little. There's just like none. <laughs> there's so I, many. I, there's I mean, so many. Niners probably last year. Listen, you know, to give you one, Jonathan. Yeah, there's Niners and but, stuff. Oh, he went to the. They went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl. No, That's no, what no, I'm no, saying. Super Bowl. No, Texans no, no, are scary. No, 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 That's no, no. What this, Caleb described this is a as the dynamic. point of this game. <laughs> this, hey, this is a different dynamic. This guy is going to complain about not getting the ball. I, you know, I want the ball. I want the. See, I'm telling you. I know how it is. I, I played football. So he's going to complain about not <laughs> getting the ball. CD won't complain. No, he was. I was looking up just now. He was a captain on the Bills too, Diggs. But yeah, you, he's you, a captain on the Bills. He did, he, remember, he did this to Josh Allen. I'll never forget that. That's a great meme. Uh, in the playoffs, <laughs> going, going against the Bengals. And it, was, it was snowy. They're losing. Yeah. And he's like, throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. Yeah. He does that. There's guys like that that are like that. CO was like that. That's why Cowboys let him go. Usually he's receivers, good. actually. It's usually receivers, receivers that yeah. like, I mean, but you kind of need to have that attitude of like, you give me the ball. Like, you, I think I've, the closest. The most tempered version of this I've seen was with Devontae Adams. Like when he was asked, I think last year, like just like there is that mentality of give me the ball, we win games. And like yeah. Devontae, the reason I say tempered is like statistically it was true, but he said it in the most like <laughs> like charismatic way without like the rage kind of like kind of you're alluding to. But it is true. Yeah. Like sometimes you want that a little bit yeah. from receivers, but you think it's too much. You think it's going to be too many cooks in the kitchen for the Texans? I, I do. And let me give you another example. That one year where Patrick Mahomes lost to the Bengals and Joe Burrow, people were like, oh, Joe Burrow, he's great. He's better than Mahomes. No. Let me tell you what happened. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys paid attention, but Tyreek Hill, he had just come off from, from a great game, the previous game against the Bills. That game, he scored another touchdown. I think it was McCole Hardman. Was it Hardman or was, or was it Pringle? Some, one of the, I think it was Hardman. He was complaining about not getting the ball. You saw him on the sideline? He's complaining and telling him, telling him, telling him you know, he's getting upset. I want, I want the ball. Throw me something. You know. That's what caused them to lose. They, <laughs> no. they, 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 that's what caused them to lose. Oh I'm telling you, God. those that's soft things. No, that guy, breaking, those soft, breaking oh. news. Miko Hardman is the reason they yeah, lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, I think it was him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Please, I, yeah, I can't. That's too. I'm pretty sure it was him or him or Pringle. I think it was him. That's too simplistic. But, like the only yeah, way you could actually say it is that, like, that, if, no, 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 those things. Like, hurt the team. Hurt the, Tony would be the those, those teams hurt the team's morale. You know, those teams they hurt it. They hurt the team, and so. Say the complaining and saying, "Oh, I want the ball and all that." That ruins the team's chemistry. You don't want that. But, That's why it's a team. But you Anytime the you team chemistry goes off, then you know they're going to lose. Because that's why the Bills let's, lost. let's reiterate. So because because we're already maybe this is the format, but we have uh, me and John think the Texans are scary, the alphas of the three teams I've presented. Jonathan, you think the Cowboys are the alpha, which then leaves us with the skilled being our other our in opposite of remaining pick, right? Yeah. Um, you think the Cowboys with CD holding out, Dak getting his contract, you, you, the, the, couldn't that kind of hurt the morale a little bit? Like up until literally ten minutes before the game, it's like, oh, is our I think it was going to play, but it's like the commitment to the team, right? Well, that would have been in question. No, he didn't care about the contract like other players did that were holding out. He, he showed up to training camp. He did his work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe with his CD Lama stuff, he, he, you know. Just, look, Dak's a great guy. He's a great quarterback, great leader. And, I like him, yeah. And he's, he, he's, he's not doing it for the money. He's doing it for the love of the game. And so that's, we need more of that, people that do it for the love of the game. And... Uh, you know, I think I think Texans are more of the the, the skilled team. They're skilled. Thing. They're skilled in terms of you know they they have a decent team, decent squad. But I was kind of concerned that they're struggling against the Colts. I mean, the Colts. Don't get me wrong; they're not bad, but they're the Colts. What are you supposed to do when Richardson throros at eighty yards? <laughs> uh, you, what do you mean? Which, that's the only thing he can do. He can't. He's not good at other. Yeah, but things. they like, didn't that's know a that. They didn't know that. Oh, they they should they should have known that. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and the head coach is a defensive mind. He should have known that's this this is this guy. This is Anthony Richardson's strength. Okay, they should have seen some film on him last year. He played a few games. They should have seen his college film. For crying out loud, the best things he can do: run, throw deep, throw run, deep. throw it. deep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Protect the deep. Watch him run. Stop him. They couldn't do it. Twenty-two to twenty. They got they escaped. They escaped. Okay, it came down to like the last couple minutes, and so. I wasn't too impressed. I wasn't too impressed. We'll see how they do against the Bears. I mean, the Bears didn't play that great, but I wasn't too impressed. The Cowboys, on the other hand, people, y'all getting comp- – Miles <laughs> Garrett, all these guys on the defense, don't get it. Guys, it's a tough defense to play against. And they no, it is. I, I'm going to give you that. It was, a gr- it was a great win. I'm going to give you that. It's, yeah, great win. It's not easy. It- you, you don't think you're biased at all? Like, uh, not at all. Being I'm honest. honest. I'm being honest. honest. You could, I'm you being could, 100% honest. I would be out <laughs> on I'm not being biased. Believe me. But like pound for pound, I would take Mixon over the way Mixon performed over Zeke performing. You know, that's probably better. Yeah, Stroud, Zeke's not. Yeah. Like if you yeah. position position, 
Would, I mean, uh, John, John why, why do you think the Texans are scarier than, than the Cowboys? Because that's, that's the Cowboys always fail in the 